Well, Max Scherzer just popped out with a new glove because Phil Cuzzy told him that he had to take the glove he was using out of play. Well, he, he checked his right hand, he checked his left hand, and then he went inside the glove, Cuzzy, which is very strange for an umpire to put his hand inside yes. your glove. I would not like that. And he's got to go down the clubhouse either to wash his hands or get a new glove. Remember, Domingo Herman recently at Yankee Stadium was asked to wash the rosin off his hand. Right. I don't know if it was pine tar or some other substance for Max. But what would cause them to take the glove out of play? If he put his hand in the glove and he felt sticky surface, stickiness inside the glove. So he puts his hand in there. It's very unusual. And then he checks the new one and he says that one's good to go. But if yeah. it's if it's a sticky substance, yeah. he should be ejected. Right. If it's rosin, then why can't they just get the rosin yeah. out of the glove? I, I don't understand why the glove would have well, to be switched it, out. If if it's sticky substance in the glove, but his hands aren't sticky, they can take the glove out of play. Right. If he's if his hands are sticky, then that's an issue. And the other thing that's bizarre is this was on the way out to the mound yeah. for the inning. Normally they check them on their way out. They do, but I've seen a couple times in this series they check the pitcher going out to the mound, which I found strange as well. Could that have come from the opposing dugout? It could have. Could have. It's a gamesmanship. So we'll see how Scherzer handles that. While we were in commercial, the umpires did another check of Max Scherzer, and after a heated discussion, Scherzer has been ejected from the game, presumably for having a spit sticky substance on his hand. The crew chief, Dan Bellino, did the ejecting, and now Buck Showalter in conversation with Bellino, as Scherzer has been ejected from the game. So he had his glove switched earlier and they're looking at the second glove and they were looking at his pitching hand as well. Well what what Cuzzy is was telling and Bellino got involved that that even though it's a new glove it feels like the old glove or or did Max go back to the old glove um, and try to take whatever substance was on it or on his hand off the glove. That might be the case. He might have brought the bat the old glove back. I mean, Buck Showalter has said that you could ask about every pitcher in baseball using sticky substances every inning. And this has become a real crazy time here in Los Angeles. Well, this really puts the Mets in a horrible situation. They just Placed Carlos Carrasco on the injured list yesterday. They just sent Denny Reyes down to Triple A today to try and get stretched out as a starter, but the Mets are really bereft of guys who can give them lots of innings. Jimmy Yacobonis is going to come into the game to replace Scherzer, who's been ejected, and he'll get as long as he needs to warm up. So this was right before the last half inning that Scherzer pitched before the top of the third and putting some some tape on his glove hand it, is that to, to secure the pitch calm inside of his glove maybe that's what that's for so maybe the, the, the tape inside the glove produces some sticky stuff that leaves a remnant on Max's hand. Max is saying that the sticky stuff is on my left hand. I don't throw with my left hand. Wow. I would have thought that Buck would have been run here. Yeah, you you, but you would think for. I mean, he gave a he he let him have it, but uh, he's not thrown out of the game. Well, you can understand Molina wanted to have let Buck say his piece because this is a huge call on the umpire's part. 
I, I, it is. It's, it's it's interesting too. I thought that Buck in that moment, kind of the stick up for his star pitcher, would have uh, been all over Bellino and Cuzzy and the whole umpiring group, uh, because. I mean, it's so random, but it's going to be interesting to find out what the umpires say if they say anything. Well, the umpires have been instructed several times over the last two years to crack down further on sticky substances. And, you know, you made the point that we've seen now a couple of times the umpires inspecting pitchers on their way to the mound, which was again the case here with Scherzer. I think the checks have become a little more random in that regard. And again, we don't know if any of it was instigated by, from the Dodger dugout or this is the umpire strictly acting on their own. But in any event, they obviously were all over Scherzer after the first glove was taken out of play and then checking again and eventually ejecting it. And don't forget, when they first started checking a few seasons ago, the first day they checked, one of the first people was Max Scherzer. And remember, he started to unbuckle his pants because he was so angry that that was happening so you know he has a history with the umpires I don't know if that played any part today. Steve Geld was downstairs nearby all the yelling and screaming Steve. Yeah Gary uh, quite a bit of yelling and screaming and, and listen we'll hear from Max Scherzer after the game I'm sure he's going to have a lot to say but he was adamant to the umpires shouting constantly it's just rosin it is just the rosin it's just the rosin that MLB provided so uh, a lot of murmurs in this dugout that it was simply rosin that Scherzer is not using anything. But again, we'll hear from him after the game today. I left the booth for a second there to go talk to one of our retired umpires who's here. And he said what he saw that happened is that they did not like the stick, the, how sticky his hand was. They asked him to change his glove. They gave him a warning. The second time they checked him, they still weren't happy with this, his, the stickiness on his hand. That's why he was ejected.